हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी सी एस आर यू जी नेट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ द पी वाई क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दी ऑर्डनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी विल कवर ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ईयर जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टू जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश गर्ग फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस पी वाई क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ईयर इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी थ्री अदरवाइज यू कैन सिंपली स्कैन एंड ज्वाइन माई व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप हेयर what you will be found on my youtube channel you can see there is a playlist csr ugc net where you can find the py question of the markov chain from the 11 year 11 to 23 statistics question real analysis as well as the shortcut tricks of the linear algebra py question of the differential equations from the year 11 to 23 this is the uh, part 1 of this ordinary differential equation in which we have covered all those years december papers py question of the integral equations py question of the calculus of variation eigen value and many more all you can found in the playlist csr ugc net so let's start with this video so firstly i try to cover the first question which is already i explained in the last lecture of the part 1 but some student ha- asked they are uh, they are not clear so i can apply again the shortcut tricks for you so what is given to you there is a system of the differential equation now whenever there is a this is first of all it's a non homogeneous so whenever there is a non homogeneous system of the equation then what is the shortcut trick is what is the size of this a is 2 cross 2 so it has the two form that is a lambda 1 of t plus c2 lambda 2 of t plus this is a particular solution now since they are the linear form so it is of the form at plus b and ct plus of d that will be the solution of this where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are my eigen values of matrix a so you have this eigen values now another thing is you have to given that when you divide sorry this is a y so another thing is you have given that when you divided this by small t this is by small t then the answer is a small d that's a finite number this is given to you now look at that what will happen if you take the limit as t tends to infinity this will goes to the zero because it will it has a finite limits so definitely it will goes to the zero similarly for here this is also goes need to be goes to zero what is the remaining side is if you divide it this by t so this is b upon t and this is c plus and when you take t as infinity the answer is a and c so it means your target is to identify only a and c are there. now if you if we, if you want to find the eigen value what is the eigen value of this minus of this minus minus plus and determinant will be minus of 6 so the eigen values are my minus 3 and plus 2 so this value is my one is my minus 3 second value is my plus of 2 so clearly says that when you take minus of 3 this will goes to the zero as t tends to infinity similarly for here now how you find this so i can start from here this is my differential equation fine so i can substitute this value i can take this number as my y so y is my at plus b and ct plus d so if i try to sum it here what is the y dash a this is c minus a is my here if i multiply this by y what will happen this is at plus b plus ct plus d and this is 4a t plus 4b minus 2cd minus of 2d which is equal to h h is my 3t plus 1 2t plus 5 now you can equate the coefficients because we need only a and c so i can equate the coefficient constant on the both side this is 1 this is 5 this is the constant is a this is my minus b plus d and another one is c plus minus 4b minus of 2d is 1 is 5 fine another portion is you can find this coefficient of the small d so this is a this is minus a minus c is equal to 3 this is minus 4a minus of 2c is equal to 2 now you can simplify that you can multiply by 2 and then subtract them so what will happen this will be cancel out it is my minus of 2 it is a plus of 2 uh, what what will happen it is a mi- uh, minus of a and here so it is minus 2 it is sorry this is plus it is a minus minus plus so there is no need to change the sign so if you add them it is my minus of 6a it is 6 plus 2 8 so a will be my 
minus 4 by 3. So look at that a minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 right answer is my a is the correct answer. Now look at start with this June 11. So whenever there is a matrix you always start to find the eigen's values of this. What are eigen values? There are the three eigen's values minus 2 minus 2 minus 2. So it means if you want to write the journal equation you will get of this form of this. So therefore your x1 will be the first pair c1 e raised to power minus of 2t x2 will be the pair of the second e raised to power minus and x3 will be my pair of here c1 c2 plus c of this or because I will tell you a shortcut text you can think about this this as a x3 this as a x1 or here that's on your choice there is no one then you have to define the mode of this is root of the square. Finally, you have to find the values at limit t tends to infinity. So what will happen if you take the limits t tends to infinity, what is the value of this? It goes to the zero. This also goes to the zero because this value is a zero. This value goes to the zero. This value goes to the zero. So what is the answer of this? Zero plus zero plus zero is my zero is the right answer of this problem. Again, it's a 2 cross 2. So we will try to find the eigen's value. So this is plus 0 and minus of 1. So the eigen values are my plus and minus 1. Again, the initial condition. So my solution will be C1 e raised to power x and C2 e raised to power minus x. Clearly says that at y is equal to 0, eigen value is my minus 1. So I can say C2 will be my minus 1. So this is corresponding to the second pair. So it means this is my y2. So what is the y1? That is the combination of this c1 e raised to power x, c, c2 will be my minus 1 minus e raised to power x. So we know y of 0 is 2 so the c1 will be my c1 will be my or c1 plus c2 is there so I can return like here fine. Now what will happen now uh, when x approaches infinity so what will happen when so y1 this is infinity so here y2 goes to the 0 because it's a 1 over 0 so first option is correct y2 goes to the 0 y1 is cancel out when x approaches minus of infinity y2 when it's a minus infinity it goes to the infinity y1 will be this will goes to the 0 this goes to the infinity so both are infinity uh, and this is is a negative so it's a y2 is minus infinity so y2 is my minus infinity that's correct both tends to the minus infinity is a wrong option so the right answers are my a and c are the correct options again you can write this as a transpose so this is the matrix i can return this as 1 2 2 0 2 1 minus 1 2 and lambda fine if alpha t e raised to power 2 t is the solution of this then you have to find this eigen so that's clearly what is the meaning of this t how you can write it it means there are that this is the eigenvalue it means the two upcring two times are there. fine now we know that th this is a three cross three so let's say the third eigenvalue will be my mu so then the two eigen values are my here so we know the sum of the eigen's value is nothing but my trace fine and product of the eigenvalue will be my the determinant of this matrix. Now look at the option firstly. If I consider lambda is my 2, it will be 5, so mu will be 1. So if, if I say lambda is my 2, then mu is my 1, that, that's the third eigenvalue is my 1. So the trace, if lambda is my 2, the trace will be 5, it's a 5 are there. When you take lambda is my 4, what is the mu? Mu is my 3. So it means the third eigenvalues are 3, 2 and 2. The sum of them will be 7 but here it is also 7 but we will find the determinant of a what is the determinant of a this is a 2 lambda minus of 2 minus of 2 0 plus 1 plus of 2 uh, plus of 2 plus of 2 so it is 4 is a plus of 2 it's 2 minus of this is my 2 lambda fine now you can easily solve that what is the meaning of that lambda will be my 2 of mu if I substitute here, what is the value of the mu? Mu is my 1. 
once mu is 1 you can see once mu is 1 lambda will be my 2 is the right answer of this problem again it's a matrix so it's a 3 cross 3 there are the three eigens values clearly says that I can return this number as e raised to power minus 5 days outset 0 1 1 so it means one eigen value is my minus 5 from here you can see e raised to power minus 3 days common the rest values are 1 1 0 second eigen value is my minus of 3 can you find the third eigen value because we all know the sum of the eigen value is nothing but that trace so it's a 15 it's a 8 it's my minus 7 these are my eigen values fine now we can check about the options the first one will form a basis what is the meaning of the basis they are ally and they will form a span but clearly says that y1 and y2 is a 3 cross 3 so the dimension of the ally must be 3 cross 3 and these all are my distinct eigenvalues so it means this the corresponding eigenfunctions are my li so it does not form a basis because it is not a ally a span are there. y1 and y2 are ally you can see can you return y1 as a linear combination of the y2 you can never because you can see it's a zero the first number is zero but here is a non-zero so you can never find an alpha so it is not be there it means y1 y2 are my ally so that's fine but do not form a basis that's correct because for the basis we need a 3 cross 3 and span so that's the correct option there exists another solution y3 yes you can find another solution corresponding to the eigenvalue e raised to power minus of 70 and corresponding to the some eigenvectors then it form a basis that's correct y1 and y2 are ld that's wrong because it can never be written in the scalar multiplied so the answer is b and c are the correct options now this is the second kind of this that's eigenvalue i already explained you in my previous lecture whenever you have the of this nature such that y of 0 is 0 and y of l is my 0 where x varies from here then what is the shortcut tips for you the eigenvalue is always be the in the form of n pi by l and the solution is in the form of that's a constant sine root of this or you can say what is the root of this is c sine n pi by l of x now we will see that clearly say that it is scale is always the positive now if you compare them what is the l l is my pi so what is the eigenvalue if you substitute here eigenvalue is my n scale so look at that which are the for no value of the lambda cancel out one i can return as a one scale that's a correct option n scale i can return as a correct option this is a zero but it is a strictly zero so that is the false answer so b and c are my correct options remember this is the beautiful condition whenever this holds the eigenvalue this is the eigenvalue and this is the eigen function look at the another value this again the eigen value function so but here the condition is given to you this form y double dash plus of this and y dash of 0 is y dash of pi what is the tips for you in this case whenever there is a differential equation of this form such that y of a is y of b and y dash of a is y dash of b that is the end points are same then it means it has a periodic function or periodic eigenvalue so you can see what is the tips for you in that case the eigenvalue will always be 2 n pi by l 2 n pi by l second tips is these eigenvalues or the corresponding eigenfunctions are ally they are orthogonal and that there, there exists a two eigen functions now in this case what is my l or what is the a and b so you can see a is my 0 b is my pi and if you compare it's a lambda scale but it's a lambda so my what is the answer is this is a lambda scale which is equal to 2 and what is the l l is my that is the upper limit that is a, l is my b minus a so what is the b minus a that's a pi so n pi by that's l so this is my so for what value of the lambda so that this will be here 2 and is my right answer of this or you can say this sorry this is a scare also 
so it is a square like in the previous case this is square so it is always be the square r so this is my square because it is a lambda so lambda square is here so what is the value of the lambda is my 2n is the right answer of this problem you just remember this shortcut tips whenever there is eigen value question again this is the same question that's a minus pi to plus pi minus pi to plus that's the same a and b are there then they are not talking about the value of lambda they are say only one eigen function two eigen function linear independent set i said it's a two eigen function they are li they are orthogonal as well so only one two eigen function they are li yes they are orthogonal yes so answers are my b c and d are my correct answers okay this is the next this initial value problem whenever there is a question of the initial value problem and they are talking about the unique solution no solution infinite you always check about the uniqueness condition what is that if you have this form f of xy if you prove that this function f and their derivative that is a f how you can write the derivative of this you can say uh, partial derivative of f with respect to say uh, y is if both are my continuous in the region say r then you can say f or uh, sorry then you can say this differential equation is a unique solution containing the initial point x not so what is the initial point is zero so what is my f in this case f is my p of what is the p p is a polynomial and since we know polynomial is polynomial is a continuous function their polynomial derivative is also be a continuous function so it means it has a unique solution is it in the all r no it it exists in the containing x not what is x not is my zero so it has a unique solution in the interval containing zero is the right answer rest all options are cancel out is the here again this initial value problem they are talking about the unique solution so we will check about this a polynomial yes uh, y square is a continuous their derivative partial derivative with respect to y is also the continuous so it has a unique solution containing x not that is a zero but all are pointing containing are zero all in all these cases zero so how you can find then we all know it contain the unique solution in here where h is my minimum of a comma b over m what is the m is mod of x y so what is the mod of x y is y square what is the y so you can see x minus x not is less than a y minus initial point is say less than b so what is the maximum value of this that is 1 plus b of whole square so my this is a b over 1 plus b whole square now we all know 1 plus b whole square is always be greater than of the b so what is the meaning of that because it can never be equal so what is the meaning of that b over 1 plus b whole square is always be less than 1 so we can say minimum of a less than of 1 so answer is always be less than of the 1 so h is my less than 1 so mod of x is less than 1 so any of the interval which satisfied this property this not satisfied this satisfied this is not satisfied because 1.5 include but it is not there it is not satisfied because 1.5 or 2.5 satisfied so the right answer is my b is the correct answer there is one more method there is one more method if you want to solve like this way what how you can solve that so the given differential equation i can return this form as of this okay now you can integrate them this is minus 1 over y is x plus c now y of 0 is my 1 so what is the meaning of that c is my minus 1 so i can find the value of y from here is so clearly say that this has a unique solution provided x is not equal to 1 so which of the interval does not belongs to the 1 one include so this option cancel one include this cancel one include this cancel only here the option which does not include the one is the right answer again 
okay this is already i explained to you in the many times like whenever you have the differential equation say a times y of alpha and y of b is equal to 0 then it give you the infinite solution provided a that is this coefficient should be positive alpha belongs to the 0 1 and b is my 0 and it give you the unique solution if a is my less than 0 alpha is my lies between 0 1 b is my 0 so look at that for the first i alpha is my half a is my 1 b is my 0 fine or you can say b belongs to the real number b is the any number which belongs to the real number. so first property satisfied so it has infinitely many solution this is a negative a is negative so it will give you a unique solution so the first is first has a multiple solution fine second has a unique solution that's a correct option other are wrong now this is the more generalized case so you can say 2 to the power 1 over alpha y of 0 is my a look at that this is similar to the previous case but here the right hand side is my 0 and here the right hand side is my a so again it give you the two solutions infinite when a is 0 unique when a is greater than 0 because you can see alpha is lies between 0 1 this is my positive this belongs to the my real number so according to them it's a infinite solution provided a is my 0 so if a is my 0 it has infinite solution correct whenever a is greater than 0 it's a unique solution it but it said less than cancel cancel unique solution again cancel because you can see this is greater than equal to but we need a strictly greater than sign so the right answer is only c r there and this is a most important tips for you on the other hand if you have say number minus 1 by 2 y of 0 is a so this will give you the minus that's a unique solution again depending on the value of a greater than 0 or less than 0 okay this is the 12 are there the 41 that's only one correct option are there so which of the following infinite unique and sheer so f is my continuous function now what you can think about that think any of the function which is a continuous so i can take f of t is my 1 which is a continuous it also satisfied this problem no uh, it's f y satisfied but it's f it's a continuous fine now we can take about here what is the f of y of t it's a 1 so can you find the solution of this x plus c so y of 0 is 1 so it means c is my 1 so y is equal to so what is given to you let's give a unique solution because c is arbitrary constant that's eliminated so that give you a unique solution infinite many solution unique solution in the r no solution in the r for sum f because we take f but we get a solution a solution in the interval containing zero but not in the r but this is a continuous for all the x in the r r there unique solution for sum f infinite many solution for the f so what will happen if i consider any of the function say here so what will happen this is 1 over y so i can return this as dy over dx is equal to x so again this is y square over 2 is x square over 2 plus say c over 2 so by using initial condition c will be my 1 again you will get as of this so clearly say that y this is always be a real number because x square plus 1 can never be zero so it means it can never give a infinite solution so the right answer is my b is the correct answer because this is a continuous function you can take any of the continuous function you may think about that like of this this is a polynomial this also a continuous function you may think about that if if you can think about here then the solution f of t is my t this will be here so what will happen this is 1 over y of dx so it means y is equal to c e raised to power x by using this initial condition we will get c as a 1 so which is a unique solution which is exists for all r so that means again the unique solution here okay so again uh, this is of the form again of this kind so you can see in each year this kind of the question will be asked so if you prove alpha lies between 0 1 constant is 1 this is my real number this is my 0 so definitely will give you the infinite solution if this number 
फाइव के ओवर फाइव के प्लस टू लाइज बिटवीन जीरो वन एंड क्लियरली से दैट इट लाइज दैट बिकॉज डिनोमिनेटर इज ग्रेट दैन ऑफ द न्यूमिनेटर सो दैट मीन्स इट हैज इन्फाइनेटली मैनी सोल्यूशन इज हियर नो कंटिन्यू सोल्यूशन कैंसल आउट एट मोस्ट टू सोल्यूशन कैंसल यूनिक सोल्यूशन ओनली वैन दिस वैल्यू इज माई ग्रेट दैन जीरो सो दिस इज कैंसल आउट द राइट आंसर इज माई सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके लुक एट दिस वन अगेन दिस इज ऑफ द सेम नेचर हियर इज वाई जीरो इज देयर बट एल्फा इज इन दिस केस इट्स अ ग्रेट देन वन सो वंस एल्फा इज ग्रेट देन वन सो इट मीन्स इन्फाइनाइट मैनी सोल्यूशन विल नॉट बी हैपन फाइन नाउ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एल्फा इज ग्रेट देन वन सो आई कैन टेक एनी ऑफ द नंबर से टू इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल सो वट इज माई फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वाई डैश इज माई वाई स्केयर सो आई कैन रिट रिटर्न एज वन ओवर वाई स्केयर डी वाई इज इक्वल टू डी टी इफ आई इंटीग्रेट दैम माइनस वाई सो यू कैन राइट दिस नंबर एज टी प्लस से कॉन्स्टेंट सो कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई और कैन यू फाइंड द सी सी वैन टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट्स अ वाई नॉट सो इट विल बी माई वाई जीरो फाइंड सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई इज इट्स माइनस वन ओवर सॉरी इट्स 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 इट इज माई वन ओवर वाई जीरो सो कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई सो इट इज टी वाई नॉट प्लस वन ओवर वाई जीरो इज माइनस वन ओवर वाई so y is my of this fine now think about the options both have the global solution infinite solution when it will be form a solution the think about that the solution will be form only clearly first of all is it existence is it exist for all t no because when you think about any of the number say t is my minus 1 over y not is it this is my minus because if if you what is the solution is minus 1 over y t plus c so y of 0 is my y not so c will be my minus 1 over y not so this is my minus this is my minus this is my minus so if you take y t is 1 over y not which is a positive number fine because y not is the initial condition so this solution it means y does not exist so if y does not exist what is the meaning of that it does not form a solution so once it does not form a solution it does not form a global solution the first option is cancel out so the first option is clear there exists a global solution for the star this is a cancel out now we can do the same thing for the others because now you can see it's a negative so definitely it form a solution b because i already mentioned that in the previous cases b so i can solve this part for you again so i can again take so it is my minus z square so i can return this number as minus of this is of this so 1 over z is t plus c by using this condition c will be my here so 1 over z so t z not plus 1 over z not so z will be my 1 plus so can you find is it greater than if you find t is my minus 1 by which is not greater than 0 fine so because z 0 and y 0 both are positive so this is not there so it means this solution exists for all t greater than 0 so once the solution will exist it means it has a it has a global solution b so that means double star has a global solution none of them this is cancel out so there exists a global solution yes and if you think about this part how you can solve this second portion is y of t y means the previous solution what was my previous solution is of this one then if you take the limit t tends to 1 over y not so what what will happen this will goes to the my plus of infinity so that's also goes to the same thing so that this is also the right answer so correct answer is only my d is my correct option okay the next category is about the ronskian this the ronskian is given to you so we all knows what is the property of the ronskian it is zero for all the domain ronskian is always the same sign for the given domain for all x in the domain and if ronskian is zero then we call as the ld if it is non zero then we call as the li you can see that at here whenever t is my half the ronskian is zero while whenever t is not equal to half ronskian is non zero but if ronskian is zero then it will be all zero if ronskian is non zero 
then for all the x in the domain so clearly say this option is cancel out again for this case whenever t is my 0 whenever t is my 1 Ronskin is 0 but whenever you take uh, t is not 0 or 1 the Ronskin will not be 0 so that of the different are there so that's cancel out same for here when you take t is my half or sorry t is my 0 or uh, t is 0 it's a 1 t of 1 is a 1 but it, it could be a 0 when it will be the pi by 2 that means if you take t is by 1 by 4 it is a 0 rest of them are non-zero rest are non-zero so this option is cancelled out and in this case you can see rho square of t is non-zero for all the t in the domain that satisfies this property right answer is my d is the correct answer Okay, look at this one. Again, this is the wrong scan. We will follow the same property. So, what is the happen? Y1 and Y2 are the solution of this. So, it means Y1 and Y2 are satisfied these conditions. So, it means Y1 0 is 0, Y2 0 is equal to 0. Fine. So, whenever these conditions are 0, wrong scan at the point 0, Y2 0, Y1 dash 0, Y2 dash 0. So that will be 0, 0. This is unknown. This is unknown. Still, it is a 0. So the wrong scan is 0 for all t. But here it is only at the one point. So how you can find the wrong scan at all 0? Wrong scan 0 e raised to power minus coefficient of the y dash. That means a of dt. So what is that? This is wrong scan of 0 is 0. It is minus of 8. This is never 0. So this is 0 for all the t. So this is a right answer it is a constant but the constant should be the zero so it is for some constant if i take c is equal to three it is not be there w is a non-constant positive number but it is a zero is a constant positive number there exist t1 and t2 such that for here this is less than zero and for here it is greater than zero that's the wrong option because w1 uh, ronskin is always of the same sign for all the x in the domain but it is of the opposite sign so this is the wrong option so the right answer is my a is the correct answer which is again a wrong scan are there so w is the wrong scan which of the following is always true if y1 and y2 are ld so what is the meaning of that wrong scan is 0 for all x in the domain but he says for the some point 0 some point non 0 that is a wrong option w1 and w are li so what is the meaning of the li is wrong scan is non-zero as i mentioned here non-zero for li non-zero ld always zero so li it's a zero wrong option ld it's a non-zero wrong option li is a non-zero is the correct option that's a d is my correct answer now here so wrong scan you can firstly find wrong scan at zero so y1 of zero y2 of 0 minus root 2 y1 dash as a 0 y2 dash as a 0 so the answer will be 3 root 2 how you can find the wrong scan at any point wrong scan at a 0 e raised to power minus the coefficient if if my equation is of this form plus p y dash plus q y is equal to 0 something then this will be e of p divided by coefficient of the y dash divided by here so it is my sin x divided by cos x so what is that it is 3 root 2 e raised to power this is a tan that is a minus minus plus log of cos x so 3 to root 2 cos x is my wrong skin now you want to find the wrong skin at pi by 4 so what is the value of the pi by 4 it is a 1 by root 2 answer is my 3 is the correct answer Moreover, this option you can directly cancel out because the this is a positive, so Ronskin can never be negative at any of the other points. Now look at the critical points. So whenever there is a question related to the critical point, you can consider this as a F, this as a G, then find the Jacobian. How you find the Jacobian? Partial derivative x with respect to F with respect to x, similarly here and this, and then find the eigenvalue. So firstly we can write as a minus 4 minus 1 plus 1 minus of 2. What is the eigenvalue is lambda square plus of 6. 
so it's a plus 8 plus 1 that is a 9 so the eigen values are my minus 3 minus 3 fine now what is that they are the equal roots that that's the meaning of this so once they have the equal roots but the uh, uh, how you can say uh, they are the equal roots that's fine once you will get the equal roots how you can solve that uh, eigen function how uh, how you can say once they are equal to root they are the real and yes once they are the equal roots they are the real then you can say it is a node which is asymptotically stable you can see my previous part one of this py question of the differential equation i have given the one chart where you can easily find this summary so once they are the equal they are equal they are the real so it's a node so spiral cancel spiral cancel it's a asymptotically stable node that's the first option is the correct rest all options are cancel out this is june 2018 and this is the june 2014 again you can see this is a critical point i consider this as f this as a g so what is the jacobian is 2 minus 7 3 minus 8 if for example if it is say it's a 7 y square then it will be my minus 14 y the point is given to you as a 0 0 you have to substitute y as a 0 here anyhow in this case it is my so you can find the eigenvalues so lambda square plus of 6 and it is minus 16 plus of 21 that is my plus of 5 so eigenvalues are my minus 5 minus 1 so they are unequal fine they are now unequal and they are my real fine once they are unequal they are real then we will call as a stable which one is asymptotically stable and in this case it is again my node whenever they are the negative rules we call as a node so that's a node asymptotically stable is the right answer of this problem okay look at the next one differential equation is given to you and you have to find the solution for the sufficiently small angle whenever there is a small angle sine of x is approximately equal to x so this equation x double dash is my minus of x now look at that this option so you can see uh, x double dash is minus x so this option is clearly cancelled because the second derivative will be my zero which is not equal to minus x again if you take the second derivative it is not be there the first derivative will be my here the second derivative will be my 4b times but we need a minus of x it is cancel out b it's a hyperbolic cos hyperbolic derivative will never be the minus of this if you take of this it is a minus of a plus b of cos if you take of this a cos and minus b sign if you take minus as a common now it's a minus of x this is the right answer of this problem otherwise you can uh, uh, you can double integrate them or you can simply write a like of this way this is m square plus 1 so m is my plus minus iota so c1 cos x c2 sin x is my right answer or this is a derivative with respect to t so sin of t and the cos is the right answer okay which of the following is the increasing decreasing about here how you can check whether the increasing or decreasing so that's very simple whenever you want to find that there is increasing it means first derivative should be greater than zero less than zero at the critical point how you find the critical point y dash should be zero so from here the critical points are zero one and two fine now rest of the target is very simple take any of the number in between minus infinity to zero say minus four then what is the value of the y dash this is a minus 4, this is a minus 5, this is a minus 6, so it's my negative. Fine. Any number with, be, between 0 to 1, say 0 0.5, this is my positive, this is my negative, this is my negative, so it means whole number is my positive. Take any number between 1 to 2, say 1.5, first number is positive, second is positive, third is negative, so it is my negative. Another is 2 to infinity, say number is 4, this is positive, 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 ah fine now what is the meaning of that it is my decreasing it is increasing it's a decreasing negative means increasing so 0 0.5 0 0.5 lies here it is my increasing but it said decreasing 1.2 lies here it's my decreasing but it said increasing cancel out 
2.5 here is increasing it's unbounded yes it's increasing so what is the upper limit of the increasing infinity whenever it's infinity it's unbounded that's the correct option since only one correct option so that's the right answer y less than 0 so any number here it's a decreasing so that means the graph is here so what is bounded above but it is bounded it is a bounded above but they are talking about the bounded below lower limit is my minus infinity so that is also not the correct answer so right answer is my c is my correct option okay let v is the solution of this which of the following is my bounded solution remember this is the major question so i can return this as auxiliary equation so it is my 3 comma 1 so the solution will be c1 e raised to power 3 of t c2 e raised to power 1 of t now clearly say that this is unbounded this is unbounded and there is no initial condition is given to you how you become this solution to be the bounded how you become this solution to be the bounded then only implies c1 c2 both are zero once it will be here you will get so what is the meaning of that why it happened because when you take as a limit y tends to uh, t tends to infinity bounded means it go, should goes to the finite limit but here when you take limit as t tends to infinity this will go to the infinity so how you prevent them to go to the infinity only when c1 c2 both are zero so what is the meaning of that when you take c1 c2 both as a zero y will be my zero now look at that because then only it's a bounded so it only cons uh, y that means a u that's only consists of the trivial solution exactly two solution it happens when this condition is not be given if not given bounded then the two solution will be the right answer are there real vector that's not be there not be there because there is only the trivial solution will be had okay now look at this uh, equation y double dash plus y is equal to f of x where f is a continuous function the first method is you can take any of the continuous functions say y f is equal to 1 every constant function is continuous what is the solution of this on that auxiliary equation is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x if i take f is 1 what is the particular integral is 1 by d square plus 1 of 1 so the answer is 1 so what is the final answer is c1 cos x c2 sin x of plus 1 now look at the options a cos x b sin x that's auxiliary equation that's satisfied this you can also see this is cos x cos k minus sin x sin k so i consider this as a c1 minus of c as a c2 so this also satisfied this satisfied this satisfied if i consider this as a 1 f of is my 1 the integration of this is my cos t that's my sin of t from 0 to x so sin 0 is 0 sin of x is my here this x can be understand here but we need a 1 1 can never be hold from here it will be my integration of this is my minus of this from 0 to x it is my cos of 0 cos 0 is 1 so it's a plus 1 is there this is there and so on so otherwise this this is the way you can solve that but there's some time here but what is the shortcut to x for you what is the shortcut to x for you look at this option look at this option what is that these are my particular integral and we all know the particular integral does not involve any constant that's the definition of the particular integral so it means look at that the c option is there this is a cancel fine there is no need to solve the problem just think about that second look at this function if i assume the third option is correct then if i substitute this value here what is the meaning of that y double dash what is the second derivative of this case if i take the second derivative definitely it will give you the second derivative of this but the right hand side is only fx it does not equal to the fx it only happen when f is your constant f is your constant only then only it happens that's why if i consider f is one then the options are hold but here it means this option not be there similarly if you take the second derivative it will involve the f double dash but it was not be there this is cancel out if you take the second derivative with respect to x so this will not involve the f double dash so that is the only right answer of this problem here 
okay next one is again this is the differential equation so whether it will be blow up and here whenever there is a question related to here that means they are talking about the unbounded solution so what will happen if i take the first option this is my second option okay so what is the second option is there this is x sin of x here this is less than or equal to mod x so that means it give you a bounded because at bounded around this interval because if you take about the initial value problem i can write an as is less than of a y minus 2 is less than of the b on the other hand this it is my x cube which is not be less than of the a cube because less than sign is not be there but here mod x i can return this number as less than of a for any of the neighborhood of zero so it means this is my bounded so it means it is not blow up this second b is not blow up this is my unbounded so it means yes this is blow up so look at the option b is not blow up so b is my false statement second is false second is true so this option cancel second is true cancel first is my true first is true second is false this is a correct answer both are false that's a wrong answer right answer is there. that means this is blow up yes this is blow up false so first is correct second is false that's the second answer this is the simple shortcut way you can solve it. okay now y1 and y2 are infinite till many zeros solution are there. okay look at this statement here so i think that is very simple if you read the statement very carefully look at that this solution this solution hold for all x belongs to the zero infinity so i can simply take any of the value of x because one lies in between them so what is the meaning of that here so what is the solution c1 cos x plus c2 sin x now there is no initial condition is given this is a initial condition corresponding to y2 how many zeros of the cos and sin it has the infinitely many zeros is it has the infinitely many zeros over the zero pi so it means this y1 has infinitely many zeros so y1 has infinitely many zeros correct option look at the second options a uh, second question that is a y is equal to x square plus 2 now here the limits is not given to then what you can do i can firstly find the homogeneous solution m square plus 1 so m is plus minus iota so cos x plus c2 sin x how you can find the particular integral 1 over d square plus 1 x square plus 2 so i can return as 1 minus d square x square plus 2 i can take as of this nature minus 1 so this is x square plus 2 2 times derivative is my 2 so this is my x square so what is my general solution is c1 cos x c2 sin x plus of x square now apply the initial condition y of 0 is 0 so this is 0 this is 0 so c1 is my 0 y dash 0 is 0 so c1 is my 0 it is my cos x plus of 2x is 0 cos 0 is 1 so c2 is 0 so c2 is 0 so what is the solution x square how many zeros are there finite solution so y2 has a finitely many zeros but infinite many zero never be there a and d are my correct answers okay look at this one that is given to you here y dash plus 2y is equal to fx that's very simple what is that this is a linear differential equation so i can find the integrating factor e raised to power pd x so e raised to power 2x fine integration of fx of e raised to power 2x now i can substitute the value of the fx so from the 0 to 1 its value is my x 1 otherwise 0 so what is the integration of this e square minus 1 over 2 fine now this is the integration now you have to find the value of the y 3 by 2 so y is my cube e square minus 1 over 2 so what is my y so i can return as 2 over sorry this is 1 over e cube 
e square minus 1 over 2. Now look at that sine 1 is e cube. So this is not a sine hyperbolic of e cube. So this is cancelled out. e cube it's not a cos hyperbolic because cos hyperbolic is this is my cos hyperbolic. It can never be here. What is the sine hyperbolic? e1 minus e1 over 2 here. So if I write in terms of the e square, so it is e minus 1 over e by 2. So what is that? This is sine hyperbolic 1. So sine hyperbolic 1, this option. C is my correct answer of this problem. Okay, which of the following is a convex concave? What is the tips for you? Convex and concave. What is the convex, uh, convex is? If y double dash is greater than 0 for all the x in the domain. On the other hand, it is less than 0. So domain is my 0 to pi by 2. So firstly, I will check at x is equal to 0. So if I take the here y double dash 0 plus y of 0, what is the cosecant 0 is? Infinity. y of 0 is 0. So what is the y double dash which is here? So this number is increasing. Now you can check about the pi by 2, y double dash pi by 2, y pi by 2, cosecant pi by 2 is my 1 y pi by 2 is 0 so y double dash at pi by 2 is my 1 which is greater than 0 so it is also greater than 0 so it means this is my convex fine so this is my first option is correct second is cancel now you have to find their solution how you find their solution we will see whether it's a positive or negative so firstly auxiliary equation m square plus 1 so m is my c1 cos x c2 sin x fine how you find the cosecant so you have to use the variation of parameter method so what is the yp yp is y1 y2 r over w r is my right hand side this is my r plus y2 y1 r over w fine what is the w is ronskian so that is y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash cosine minus sine cos so that is my 1 so Ronskin is my 1 so this is my y1 this is my y1 sin is my y2 sin into cosecant is my 1 1 over 1 this is my sin Ronskin is 1 y1 is my cos cos and cosecant is my cos over sin so what is the answer of this is minus x cos x this is my log of this is the log of sin x so sin x log of sin x fine now how you can solve that so now you can see whether it's a positive or negative in the in this domain firstly x is equal to 0 uh, this is my 0 log of 0 log of 0 is my negative fine it's a infinity so sin of 0 is 0 so it's my 0 fine what is the pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 log 1 is 0 it is my negative so this is my this is the answer or you you can also see about that how you can solve in other way uh, whether it's a positive or negative if you take any of these simplify yes that's the only way you can simplify that is the right answer okay you have to find the limit of the solution so i can return this number as y cube minus y square minus 2y is my minus of dx if i write here how you can solve this i can take y as a common y square minus y minus 2 so i can make them as a factor y plus 1 y minus 2 fine now i can rationalize partial fraction y minus 2 so what is the partial fraction of here when y is equal to 0 when y is equal to 0 it is minus half when y is equal to minus 1 it is my 1 by 3 y is equal to 2 it is my 1 by 6 fine now you can integrate them oh, sorry the right hand side is already i integrate them so what is that this is minus half log y i can take 1 by 3 log y plus 1 i can take 1 by 3 also here so it is y minus 2 of here minus x plus c now i can take 6 as a lcm so i can take y plus 1 y minus 2 of half i can take 6 as lcm it says 2 
डिवाइडेड बाय वाई क्यूब इज ई रेस्ट टू पावर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइन ना लुक एट दी कंडीशन वाई नॉट इज हियर लिमिट वाई अप्रोचेस टी अप्रोचेस इन्फिनिटी सो दिस इज माई टी राइट हैंड साइड विल गोज टू दी जीरो क्लियरली सेज दैट वाई ऑफ वेन टी जीरो सो वेन इट विल बी हियर सो इट विल बी जीरो ओनली वेन वाई इज इधर माइनस वन और टू सो लुक एट दी ऑप्शन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ माइनस वन एंड टू सो दिस इज कैंसल आउट दिस इज अ टू ऑप्शन क्लियर दिस टू एंड माइनस वन बोथ बिकॉज इट इट इज नॉट अ क्लॉज इन ट्वेल्व इट्स अ सेट सो माइनस वन इन्वॉल्व वाई दिस लिमिट्स बिलोंग्स टू दी माइनस वन दैट सेटिस्फाइड दैट सेटिस्फाइड दैट सेटिस्फाइड आर दी राइट आंसर ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम ओके लुक एट दिस ऑप्शन सो वाई इज एक्स इज एनी कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन सो आई कैन सिंपली टेक कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन इज वन नो दिस इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड एक्स ऑफ जीरो इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड सो वट आई कैन डू आई कैन सिंपली टेक टी दैट सेटिस्फाइड दिस प्रॉपर्टी सो आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट हियर सो वट इज दैट दिस इज माई टी इज क्यर दिस इज ओनली ऑप्शन टू डिस्कार्ड दैम इफ मोर देन वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन देन वी विल चेक अबाउट दी अदर वे प्लस दिस इज एस ऑफ डी एस so what is happen t square plus t square by 2 so what will happen t square by 2 less than of 2 so it means t is my less than of 2 so that means solution is my less than equal to 2 check about the option which is not satisfied less than equal to 2 this option is not satisfied 5 by root 2 this option clearly be greater than of that 2 cancel out 3 divided by root 2 So three into one point four one four divided by two point seven zero seven. So it is two point one two one, which is greater than of the two. This is optional cancel out. This is the only option with remaining. So that's why this is the right answer of this problem. But how you can find the exact value? So this is the simple way you can find. It. Otherwise, you can simply take the derivative two x x dash. This is zero. What is the derivative of this? Is simply x. so you can see x will be cancel out x dash will be i think uh, what is that it is x of t 2x x dash ah that that simply you can simplify that is also the correct manner you can solve okay so which are the following if there are the distinct eigen values there are the distinct eigen vectors okay the solution is given to you like of this lambda any of the one v1 remember v1 is the function of that t because they are the eigen vectors so how you can solve that integration of a of that's integrating factor that's a right hand side of integrating factor that's a simple way you can solve that of so what is the meaning of that so x e raised to power ax is integration e raised to power of this v1 now we can check about the option which is not of this form does not have a solution of this nature e raised to power where a is the any vector belongs to the real line e raised to power minus 1 lambda that's 2 find v1 look remember that v1 is there how you can check whether this option is the correct or wrong how you can say Uh, a is my any vector, so you can see v1 is the, but it is not of there. This is my function of the x. These are the my eigen vectors. So a is the any vector which, which can be taken as a v. So so no, e raised to power lambda one a a is any vector, but here is the eigen vector are there. So it means this does not hold, and they are also talking about does not have. So that's a correct statement. Which has the solution of the form e raised to power minus lambda one a for some vector of a that does not hold because it must be of the form e raised to power a x v one is the eigen vector but a is for some vector that's the wrong option has the solution of this form e raised to power uh, lambda one a plus t yes I can take this as a v one v one is a function of the t e raised to power lambda this This is the eigen value. This is a constant. We can say here, yes, this is the right answer. Is this the right answer for some vector here? 
this is the for any vector a and b that's not true because any vector is not be there this is of the form e raised to power a so this is a wrong answer a and c are the correct answer of this problem this is a june 2014 this is a part 2 only one correct options you all know what is the singular solution or singular integral first of all it's a solution so it must satisfies the given equation so we can check about which option is not satisfied look at the a if i substitute here so this is the x cos x plus sin x minus y x sin x this is the lhs so what is the lhs is if we open them x square cos x x will be cancel out x square cos x whole square can it be the right hand side it can never be you can see x square sin square x so it will be x square x4 1 minus sin square is sin 4x it's a sin sin square is cos square so it satisfied look at this option y is equal to x y is equal to x if i satisfied here so it is 1 minus y whole square x square x square minus x square 0 so x minus y 0 is equal to 0 that also satisfied this is not satisfied because it's a constant this is not satisfied so look at these two options but there is only one correct options so how you can check about that so now we can see about here so for the we have to find the discriminant as a zero for the singular solution i can return this equation in terms of here y dash plus y plus c is equal to zero so if i open this bracket y dash square minus 2xy y dash plus y square minus x square of this so what is the discriminant b square minus 4ac is zero so this is my b 4x square y square minus 4x square this is my constant b so y square minus x square x square minus y square is zero so 4x square y square cancel out 4x raised to power 4 x square minus y square is zero so x4 is zero or x square is equal to y square either x zero or x is equal to plus minus y but x is equal to zero does not satisfied here left hand side is a zero but right hand side is a zero left is not there and y is equal to plus minus x that's only the right answer this is the wrong answer the first method you can only discard the option if only one correct option then then you can do otherwise you can check about the remaining okay this is eigen value problem so again as i tell you this is the n pi by l whole square l is my 1 so the eigen value is my n square fine solution will be is a constant sin of root here so what is the root of this is nx fine this is my eigen function this is my eigen value now look at that there exist so it means they are not talking about always there exist eigen function lambda for which eigen function such that it does not change its sign what is the meaning of that does not change its sign it means the value of y either always greater than 0 or always less than 0 there exists lambda okay so what is the meaning of that that's true if i consider a is my greater than 0 because initial condition of this is not given if a is greater than 0 and n is my positive number n is lies between 0 to pi fine so what is the meaning of the 0 to pi that's the first and second quadrant this is a positive this is positive so it does not change this sign this is a correct option can it change this sign yes it can change this sign if you take a is my what you can say a is less than 0 or what you can think there exists how you can change the sign that means if either this is positive or this is negative so if i say uh, this value of the nx will lies in the fourth quadrant or a is my is my positive or if a is my less than 0 and this value lies in the second and the third quadrant b so it has changes the sign as well or you can simply see look at i if i just draw the graph this is the complete real line fine you can see if i consider 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 here simple if i simply take here if i take n is equal to 1 so this is the graph of the sin x if i take n is equal to 2 then sin of 2x so it will be my like of here 
clear now you can see it changes sign as well because some are negative some are positive it is always positive sign that is upside it is is positive yes you can see upside it is negative you can see it's a negative as well it means all are my correct options of this here you can simply draw the graph this is a sin x this is a sign of 2x if you want to draw the sign of 3x then it will be 3 some positive some negative as well okay now again one again tips for you this is given to you here y of 0 is 0 and y of pi is my 0 but here is a y dash in the previous case I tip, tell you the tips when y of 0 is 0 y of pi is 0 then it's the solution is n pi l by x but whenever it's a derivative is 0 then your eigenvalue will be 2n plus 1 2 pi by l whole square and the solution will be a sine root of this these are simple tips for you remember when is a derivative and is my natural number so what is that uh, it is, if it is this my l okay then it is my here here l is my pi so what is my lambda so 2n plus 1 i can return as n plus 1 of whole square fine so there exist eigenvalues and the corresponding are or there exist eigenvalues which uh, corresponding to which is a solution now you can check about the options there exist eigenvalue yes there exist eigenvalue that's the correct option eigenvalues are I, uh, they are written k so k plus 1 whole square that's fine with the corresponding eigen function what is the root of lambda k plus half that's also the correct option eigenvalues are of the form k plus 1 whole square that's the wrong option because eigenvalues are of the form n plus 1 by 2 there exists no eigenvalue that's also the wrong answer the correct answers are here so this is the tips for you you just copy down here whenever the initial condition is here then the solution will be n pi by l whole square if the solution will be y dash of 0 then the solution will be here if it is lambda square then you can write here as a lambda scale as well but here it is simple lambda so you can write like of this man okay so again i can write this is eigenvalue problem you can see lambda in here so i can return this form of minus 1 minus of x and y of 0 is 0 y of 1 is 0 clearly says that y double dash plus of this is of this form I call it as a lambda dash which is of here so the solution will be n pi by l l is my one fine now we all know this is my positive numbers so the eigenvalue this number should be the positive fine for the non-zero solution so what is the meaning of that this is my greater than zero is my here now your target is to find so what is the domain is x lies between zero to one so maximum value of the x is my 1 so this will be greater than of 2 so that means lambda is greater than 2 is the right answer so this option is cancelled 0 1 does not satisfied that's true because it exists for some of the value otherwise it give you a infinite many solution for some are there countably many lambdas is the wrong uh, uh, that, that's also a correct option why because remember this is the tips I, I forget to tell you the tips for you the eigenvalue remember the eigenvalue or strum leavitt problem the corresponding eigenvalue always give you a countable numbers eigenvalue always give you the countable numbers p so remember this is also the correct answer so c and d are my correct options okay again this is the strum leavitt problem that is eigenvalue y of 0 is 0 y of pi is my 0 so now as i tell you the shortcut tricks n pi by l l is my here so it is l square and this is term level problem so it will give you a countably it give you a countably many eigens values and the solution of will be y a root of lambda that is n of x fine now look at the options so the first option is uh, there exists a countably many characteristic values that's, that's correct option because eigenvalue always strumly be problem always give you the countably many eigenvalue 
there exists uncountable that's a wrong answer each eigen function that is a y corresponding to this has exactly this much roots okay fine of the 0 to pi okay 0 to pi if i take n is my 1 what is my lambda is my 1 what is my root of lambda minus 1 0 so when n is 1 so it is my sin x over the domain 0 to pi this is my 0 to pi how many zeros are there in this interval there are no zero because zero is an open interval how many zeros in between 0 to pi there is no zero so it means if n is 1 then there are if n is 1 how many zeros zero if n is 2 that means sine of 2x how you write the sine of 2x that means it will give you like of this is the case this is my pi by 2 how many zeros are there there are one zero so when n is equal to 2 how many zeros one zero so it means when there is a n number of the zeros how many zeros are there here so what is the value of the n root of so that means is the correct answer this is the wrong answer so a and c are my correct option of this okay this is the initial value problem so what is the initial value problem i tell you you have to use the Lipschitz condition what is that whenever this condition is my bounded is say m whenever this condition is my less than of the m then you can say if this is a bounded then it will give the unique solution if it is unbounded then it will give you either the no solution or infinitely many solutions so look at that but one solution is always given to you so it means no solution can never be happen so third option is cancel out so if i take f is my x y of 1 by 3 what is the partial derivative with respect to y of y of 2 by 3 which is not exist around y is equal to 0 because it goes to the infinity so does not satisfy the Lipschitz condition about the point y is equal to 0 is the correct state so what is the meaning of that is it a bounded or unbounded so you can see whether it's a bounded or unbounded so first option is the correct option there exists a unique solution that's wrong because Lipschitz condition that means it's an unbounded solution once it's unbounded solution so unique solution will never be happen either the no solution or infinite solution no solution will not be there because one solution already there more than one solution is the right answer so a and d are my correct option of this problem again you can see this is my initial value problem it is given to you as initial value problem so i can apply the same concept for here so what is the initial value problem for this so what you can do you can take the partial derivative with respect to y this is my y uh, this is my f so lambda cos x plus y take the modulus so cos is always be less than of this now if it is bounded then we will give a unique solution if it is unbounded then we will give either as a no solution or infinite many solution but one solution is already given to you so no solution will not be happen so now you can see when it will be bounded when mode of when it will be bounded when mode of this is less than one so whenever this is less than one you will get a unique solution that means a solution will exist when it has a bounded solution so the first option is the correct option now no solution no solution will not be happen because this is there solution in the neighborhood of zero that's correct statement because if you take uh, if you take the partial derivative it exists all so it is exists a solution in the neighborhood of zero solution in the r only when this is greater than one when this is greater than one it is unbounded so when it is unbounded infinite many solution but they are talking about a solution that's the wrong answer so b and c are the correct answer of this problem again this is the first initial value problem so you can see about here the first option is dy by dx is x square plus y square so how you can solve this problem now you can see about here so initial solution is my here x minus 0 is less than y minus 2 is less than b so which of the following statement is about the interval of existence 
so this is less than of the h where h is minimum of a b upon m what is the m is mode of this number so i can return this number as mode of x square plus mode of y square x is my a square y is my 2 plus b whole square fine so this is my m so I, I can substitute here h is my minimum of a b over a square plus 2 plus b of whole square fine now clearly says that b over b plus 2 square plus of a square is my less than equal to 1 so it means h will be my less than equal to 1 so that means the solution of this will be less than of strictly less than 1 but it is given that solution is in the form of 0 here so l0 will be my 1 fine so l0 will be 1 so strictly less than 1 because it's open interval so that's only the right answer is my d is my correct answers of this problem uh, but uh, it is a less than equal to 1 so sorry 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 this is not be there less than equal to 1 so these are the here fine now look at the, these two option for the second again we will apply here so what is that this is z square which is i can return this number as x minus 0 is less than a z minus 1 is less than of b so i can return this number as 1 plus b of whole square so once it can return here so it, in this case it will be minimum of a b over 1 plus b of whole square fine moreover you can easily solve this differential equation this now if you integrate them it will be minus 1 by z x plus c z of 0 is 1 so it c will be my minus 1 so what is my z z is 1 over x minus 1 so what is that it will be happen 0 but 1 is not be there fine so it is l1 l1 will be my 1 so this is the correct answer this option is cancelled first and the third option first and last option already cancelled from the here so the right answer is my only b is the correct option okay so y1 and y2 are the fundamental solutions so what is the meaning of that y1 and y2 are ally such that here both y and y2 cannot have a local maxima at the point x0 so remember whenever there is a ally what is the meaning of that Ronskin is non-zero for all the x in the domain that's the meaning of this so whenever whenever you can see this is the tips for you when y1 and y2 are ally this implies they never have a common point of maxima and minima this is a simple tips for this case so it means they are talking about the local maxima maxima minima maxima minima so since we prove that they are ally so they will never have a common point of ally so what is the meaning of that both y cannot have a local that's a correct statement both y1 cannot have a local that's also minimum neither maximum nor a minimum y1 cannot have a local maximum that's true y2 cannot have a local maximum that's true both y1 and y2 vanish cannot vanish at simultaneous that's true what is the meaning of that Ronskin is zero for the ally so once Ronskin is non-zero both cannot vanish at the same time because both if both vanish at the same time what is the meaning of that Ronskin will be y1 y2 y1 dash so that will be 0 0 it will be 0 so it means it give you the ally but ld but it is given as a ally so both cannot be vanished so all a b c d are my correct answers okay look at this next one so they are the Ronskians so y of 1 is given to you firstly you can find the Ronskian from here that is Ronskian at some point say alpha e raised to power 1 plus x square over 1 of dx so the Ronskian is Ronskian at some point alpha I call as say alpha e raised to power minus x minus x cube by 3 now look at that w of 1 is a so that means alpha e raised to power minus 4 by 3 
w of 2 is my b so alpha so when uh, 2 so it will be my minus of 2 minus 8 by 3 so 8 6 14 by 3 w of 3 is my c alpha so 3 that's a 3 minus 27 over 3 so 9 minus of 12 or I can return this number as 36 by 3 then alpha a is less than 0 b greater than 0 first option I already tell you that Ronskian always have the same sign fine so if because Ronskian is a Ronskian is b if one is greater than one is less than that's opposite sign that's a wrong answer now you can think about whether the relation between a b and c so firstly the c option is third option is correct because what is a a over mode a that is a one similarly b over mode b is one c over mode c is one so th third option is correct option now look at the second and the fourth option how you can think about that so now there is a very simple a less than b less than c that is you have to find the relation between here what is that e raised to power minus x is a decreasing function we all know about that so what is the meaning of that so e raised to power minus 4 by 3 okay minus 4 by 3 is greater than of minus 14 by 3 is greater than of minus and it's a decreasing function so you can return this number as of this form fine so now if i multiply by alpha but what is the nature of the alpha alpha can be greater than 0 or it can be less than 0 so first case if alpha is my less than 0 so if i multiply them the sign will be changed fine because if i multiply by alpha it is less than greater than so this is my a b and c if alpha is my positive so it when you multiply them alpha so it is a less than b less than c so either this happen or this happen so that means this condition holds because of the word or here is the word of the end so it means both must satisfy so if a less than b satisfied b greater than c not satisfied b is greater than c satisfied but a less than b is not satisfied because of the word and so the right answer is b and c are my correct answers okay again this is the question from that 2022 again the Ronskian so if Ronskian is 0 we call as the independent that's a wrong statement remember Ronskian is 0 we call as the LD Ronskian is non-zero we call as the LI W can change the sign Ronskian can never change the sign if Ronskian is 0 for some then it will be 0 for all that's a correct statement if Ronskian is 1 then it implies that's a wrong statement remember if Ronskian is 0 for some t naught then it will be 0 for all the domain but if it is 1 or if it is a 1 then it will not be always be a 1 so that means this is the right answer is only my c is the correct answer okay again this is the function y double dash plus ax y of x is my here y1 phi 1 phi 2 are here so we can firstly find the Ronskian at the point 0 because they are talking about the Ronskian phi 1 0 phi 2 0 phi 1 dash 0 phi 2 dash 0 so what is that this is a 1 this is a 0 phi 1 dash 0 phi 2 dash 1 so that's my 1 Ronskian at the point 0 is my 1 how you find the Ronskian at any of the function so we can say Ronskian at a 0 e raised to power minus coefficient of the y dash but here there is a 0 coefficient of the y dash is a 0 so what is that this is 0 e raised to power 0 is 1 Ronskian of 0 is my 1 so this is my here it is not be e raised to power x is 1 phi 1 and phi 2 satisfy this property such that the phi 1 has a non-trivial periodic function it means phi 1 phi 2 has a non-trivial periodic function of period t what is the periodic function this is the periodic function this is for a phi 1 this is for the phi 2 now you need a phi of t so i can take x as a 0 so if x as a 0 it will give you x 1 0 what is the phi 1 0 1 second you need a phi 2 i can take that derivative fine now i can take x as a 0 
so what is the phi 2 of t phi 2 dash of 0 is 1 so phi 2 dash is 1 phi 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 is the right answer this this is 1 plus 1 2 but it's a 1 is a wrong answer so a and c are my correct options of this okay look at that which of the following will satisfied by 0 y double dash 0 so y 0 is there but we need a y okay so I can take as x is equal to 0 here so 4 0 y double dash 0 2 y dash 0 y dash 0 here so this will be 0 y of 0 is 1 so I can find the value of y 0 is minus half but we need a y double dash so I can take differentiate this with respect to x then only x will be cancelled out so x y triple dash 4 y double dash 2 y double dash plus y dash is equal to 0 now take x is equal to 0 this goes to the 0 y double dash of 0 2 y double dash of 0 y dash 0 is my minus of half so it is my 6 time y double dash 0 is my half so y double dash 0 is my 1 by 24 is the right answer okay so this is a recent year are there f is a locally ellipsis condition fine okay so what is the meaning of that okay find this consider the ordinary differential equation this one solution is given to you which of the following statement has at the most exist not solution and look at that might not be there so it means one solution is given to you no solution does not exist fine so is there any option might not be any solution might not that's the wrong option because one solution is already given to you they are talking about the locally but here they are talking about the global there always exists a global that it may or may not be may or may not be exist why because f is not globally ellipsis function it is a locally so it always not be true okay add the most one local because it's satisfied here so it means it has some solution so either it has a unique solution or it has a infinite solution if it has a unique solution then add the most one solution will be there if it has infinite solution then it will be at least one solution about the initial points so the right answers are a and d so these are the simple conditions there is no need of them they are simply give you for the confusion side okay look at the another one so I can return this solution here so what is the I can find the roots of this plus 1 is 0 so m is my minus 1 or m is my minus 1 and second roots will be my minus of half is it so now so solution will be my c1 e raised to power minus x c2 e raised to power minus half how you find the particular integral so I can return as 2d square plus 3d plus 1 e raised to power minus 3x so that's 9 to 18 minus 9 plus 1 e raised to power minus 3x so it is my 1 by 10 of this fine now look at the first option y of 0 okay uh, c1 c2 is not be given to you but it is given that when you take the limit with respect to e raised to power x so c1 e raised to power x by 2 e raised to power minus of 2x that will goes to the 0 so but if you take the limit x approaches infinity this will give you the infinite solution so only it will be the finite when c2 will be 0 when you take infinity here c2 will be 0 fine so the solution this will goes to the 0 fine how you can find the c1 so again it will goes to the 0 only when c1 must be the 0 if c1 is non-zero then it will never goes to the zero so c1 and c2 both are zero so the final solution will be your here now look at the first y of zero that's satisfied y of one not satisfied y is a bounded function that's the wrong because if you take x is on the real line if you take x is here y goes to the infinity this is unbounded e raised power 2x of y so what is that this is 1 by 10 e raised to power minus x if you take x infinity this will goes to the 0 is also the right answer so a and b are my right answer of this problem 
okay look at the another one so a is any continuous function such that y dash is a times y of x so i can return like of this fine so what is the solution if i integrate them so y is my constant e raised to power ax dx fine now look at that first option and what is the c i can take as a constant y not so it is my here. so first option is if limit mode of this is my finite then y is bounded so clearly says when you take the modulus of this if this is a finite so this whole quantity is my finite so that means it is my bounded so the first option is correct option look at the second option if this limit that is limit of this is my finite then limit x approaches infinity y of x exist so clearly say that once is a bounded so bounded implies its existence of there that's a correct statement third option is if limit x approaches infinity a of x is my 1 then limit of y x is my infinity so look at that when this value is my limit x approaches infinity so we can take the limit y not e raised to power limit of a x of d x when it is a 1 so limit when you take the limit as a 1 so it will be my e raised to power x because it's a 1 so integration of 1 is my x so it, it is my e raised to power x so e raised to power x as x as y approaches as x approaches infinity it goes to the infinity is also the correct answer check whether it's a monotone whether it's a monotone whether it's a monotonic increases or decreases it is not given to you so it means the oh, how you can check if this is a solution so what is the meaning of that depending on the nature of the y0 whether is y0 is less than 0 or greater than 0 is sometime increases or sometime decreases so it can never be a monotone so that means the right answers are my a b and c are my correct options of this problem oh uh, that's a very simple question so uh, what is given to you this is given to you this is the cauchy euler equations remember whenever you have this cauchy equation of this form c of y is 0 you can convert into the auxiliary equations a m square plus b minus a of m plus c is equal to 0 so you can see a is my 1 b is my 0 c is my minus 2 so this is m square Minus m minus two is zero, so m will be my two and minus one. So solution will be c one x square c two x raised power minus one here. Now what what is given to you? So c one and c uh, y of one is my one. So c one plus c two is my one. Y of two is my one. So four c one c two by two is there. I can multiply this by four and subtract them. So four c two is my three. So six eight minus one eight minus one is seven. So c two is my six by seven. So c one will be one by seven from here. So solution will be c one one over seven x square seven over six x. Your target is y three. So nine over seven seven over eight. Sorry. Uh, C two, C two is my six by seven, not seven by six. C two is six by seven x, so it's my nine over seven is six by seven three twenty one. So twenty one is LCM, twenty seven plus six, thirty three over twenty one, eleven over seven is the right answer. Okay, look at the last question about there. Now this is the here. of this so clearly say that this is my bernoulli equation fine so i will tell you the shortcut tips for the bernoulli equation as well this is my t raised to power of here so what is the tips for you you can find the integrating factor directly by using this rule p of dx or dt it is with respect to t and the solution will be y raised to power 1 minus x integrating factor it is 1 minus n q integrating factor so what is the n 
n is my here n is my half this is my q this is my p so firstly what is the integrating factor 1 minus half minus 3 by t so what is that t raised to power minus 3 by 2 is the integrating factor so y of half n is my half integrating factor is t raised to power minus 3 by 2 n is 1 minus half q is my t integrating factor is my minus 3 by 2 so it is t raised to power minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1 plus c so what is the answer of this is y of half over t raised to power 3 by 2 t raised to power 1 by 2 plus c now given condition is 1 and 1 so this is 1 c will be my 0 so y of half is t of square or y is my t raised to power 4 is the right answer so what is the y of 2 2 raised to power 4 16 is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve all those csr net examination question in very simple manner remember the tips which i gave you relate to the differential equations eigenvalue ronsky and that is a very beneficial for you in the coming examinations i hope you can simply like share and comment on my videos i will share the next py questions from the year 11 to 22 related to the partial differential equation very soon thank you very much students happy learning